Hello YouTube, I'm Tom and Brad and welcome back to Space Engineers and today I'm going to show you how to make a height adjustable docking port for your spangly new rover the easy way. Oh, so much good stuff, I can't get over it. Let's go! Now in the introduction I used one of the Sparks of the Future button panels which is beautiful but don't worry if you don't have that DLC. I'm going to use the normal control seat to get everything set up. And as a little bonus, we'll go through setting up this button panel if you do have that DLC and you're not sure how to use it. So first of all, let me clear off this stuff and we'll get a fresh start. So let's assume you've got a cargo container or something similar on your base that you want to connect your rover to. So I'm in creative mode here. Let's get the toolbar set up. In the G menu, we're going to need hinges a connector and we may need the conveyor tube we also want a control seat and a button panel first of all let's start with the hinge and let's have a closer look at which way round to put this so if you can see from the ghost image there's a little notch on the outer ring that little notch there if we went clockwise from that it's positive if we go anti-clockwise towards that it's negative so this is your angles this would be zero and that would be 45 that would be approximately minus 45 that's worth bearing in mind so i'm going to use two of these because the height of these on a, a small rover isn't going to vary that much so two should be enough but with the second one i'm not going to place it the same way around rotate it i'm going to place it that way so the notch is on the other side now what this means is that now going this way it is negative and going this way it is positive so that is currently minus 45 but they're both set to zero at the moment and this will all become clear very shortly press every button till it's the right way around but we want to be able to adjust the height of this easily so let's put down a control seat and let's hop in the control seat and configure these so the key thing to remember with this setup is that you have your first hinge the right way around and then you have your second hinge the other way around now that just makes things a lot easier so i'm going to go into the k menu and i'm going to look for the two hinges and i want to group those together so this is going to be the docking hinges. Now I want to adjust both of these hinges to fairly specific settings for ease. And I'm going to set the lower limit by doing control and clicking on it. Hit zero. And for this demo, I'm going to set the upper limit to 80. Now what's important here to get this easy system to work is to set your velocity to a negative number. So I'm going to do control and left click and I'm going to say minus four. So if I go into the G menu now and we go to groups where we've got our hinges grouped, I'm going to right click on that first hinge and what I want to say is to decrease the lower limit. So that's the first one. And the second one, do a right click here I want to increase the lower limit. Let's just have a look and see what that does. So one is going to try and move it down into the ground, but two will pop it up. Now it goes up in increments of nine degrees and I hit two again, taking it up. You can see that the connector is staying horizontal. Now back in the seat, if I hit one now, it will drop down in increments of nine degrees and in between that zero and 80 degrees there is easily going to be a point where your rover lines up now if it doesn't and your rover connector is higher all we need to do is to pop a conveyor tube in there i'm going to place the conveyor tube on here and should we do two let's just do two and we'll pop another of the hinges on here, making sure that that little notch is on the upper side. 
and then we'll put our connector back on. If I click on docking hinges, you can see now the new hinge that I've put back on isn't included in the group. So all I'm going to do is hold control and click on it and then say save. And now those two hinges are back in the same group. And the next thing I want to do is to make sure that the lower limit is still set to zero and the upper limit is still set to 80. Velocity minus four. And I'm just redoing these just to make sure that it's also adjusting the new hinge that we've added back to the same thing. So both of these hinges have exactly the same settings. And the reason this works is because the second hinge, the one to the left of the screen, is reversed. Now there's a little quirk there you can see with hinges. I've tried all sorts of settings. If someone else knows how to stop that from happening and I'd really appreciate it if you let me know. It just does a little kick but it settles back down and going down over it, it seems to work fine. So now we want to set up the button panel. I'm going to bring in one of the Sparks button panels and I'm going to click on the first one. It's asking what I want to do with that. Well, I want to control the group. I'm going to right click on the dock. I'm going to say that it is same as on the other one. It's to decrease the lower limit. The next button, I'm going to right click and to increase the lower limit. And that's it. So those are the two buttons set up on the panel, but they don't have any display on them. So let's adjust what it says on the screen by going into the control panel at the side here. Button one, I'm gonna change that to lower. Now it's saying that these screens at the minute, the actual panels don't have any content. So I'm gonna change that so it has text and images. And now we can scroll down further and I can say edit text. And I'm gonna type in lower, okay. And the font size is way too small. So I'm gonna make that a size five now the alignment i want it to be in the center and there we can see it says lower so let's do it again with the second one go back into the control panel this time it's button two which is going to be to raise numpad to screen will have some content it'll be text text will be raise it's going to be a size five the alignment is the center and that's it so now let's do raise by hitting f or if your hands are empty you can just use the mouse button so raise there we go and it's going up in increments so this connection system will allow the transfer of things through from the cargo container into the connector and if your connector is attached to the rest of your ship then it'll also transfer material to wherever it needs to go. So before we finish, another big thank you to all the new subscribers and for the people commenting and Kozo for correcting me on a couple of things that I had missed from the DLC update. Yes, you get a new skin. My apologies for not mentioning that. And you also get two new emotes. One of them I demonstrated at the beginning of this, which is the uh, drunken behavior. So something else I've done because we're on a bit of a car thing at the moment, I wanted to make a easy way of raising the vehicle so I could have a look underneath and swap out the wheels and add the exhaust port and do a paint job and so on. So what I've done is I've put a little lift system in here. So I'm just going to jump in the seat and if I bring up my toolbar, number one brings up a piston with an auto locking landing gear on it. And then from here we can get in, recolor, change the wheels, add the exhaust and so on. And then obviously to lower, we just hit reverse. And then I'm gonna hit two to switch off the lock on that landing gear. Now, if you want me to go into more detail on how to build this, just let me know. But to show you, if you want to work it out for yourself, this is the system here. So there it is. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks very much for subscribing and give me a little like. I would really appreciate that. I appreciate you also spending the time making it this far in the video. Well done you. I'll see you all again soon for more Space Engineers. Bye bye.